The Buck School District, meantime, could become the very latest district to change its book policy. The district is saying it's not a ban. However, as Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe reports, some people are saying it's violating students' First Amendment rights. Schools cannot you know, exclude materials from the library just because they disagree with the ideas that are in those books. But that's exactly what could happen in the Central Buck School District if a new book policy goes into effect. Rich Ting is a lawyer with the ACLU of Pennsylvania. Excluding and censorship uh, really take power away from students and parents to make decisions about you know, what books they they look at and read. Central Buck School District, Pennsylvania's third largest school district, may soon review which books students can read. The school board first introduced the policy change in April. A final vote is set for Tuesday night. Chopper 3 was over the setup of barriers ahead of the meeting start. The policy is, is intended to make sure that materials are age appropriate and to make sure that materials do not contain gratuitous, salacious, extremely explicit, unwarranted content that would take away from the literary intent. The district has 18,000 students in 23 schools. If a parent or someone else in the community challenges a book, a committee made up of librarians, teachers, and administrators would review the material and make a decision on whether to keep it on the shelves. Just because a book is challenged does not necessarily mean that that book will end up being removed. But we have not had any formal challenges placed by any parent to date. Do you expect them to come if this is passed by the school board tonight? It's hard for me to speculate as to what may happen or not. Um, I, I just know that in the event that this is passed, we will begin the work of preparing our process. Yeah. Yeah. School should be a, a marketplace of ideas where students should be free to explore things and uh, you know discuss those with their families to uh, figure out what's right for them. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.